Continuing to field questions for U.S. Simili, I have a student who's asking, Mike, now that step one has gone to pass fail, 2CK obviously matters a lot more. Am I fucked if I don't get a high 2CK score? And furthermore, uh, should I sit step three to increase my competitiveness? Okay, so before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now let me address the question here, which is, uh, of course, as this student is aware, step one went to pass fail in January of 2022, and our step two CK score is much more monumental now. Uh, are you fucked if you don't get a high score? And furthermore, should you sit step three to increase your competitiveness? I'll address the step three point first because it's shorter, which is that uh, over 99% of people are not going to have a step three when they apply. So it is in my view that no, the step three score is not going to matter for the overwhelming majority of people. Okay, you should not wait uh, to apply uh, for have you should not wait to have a step three score in order to apply. Okay, even if it's for a competitive specialty. Now, the utility of step three can be if you've been out of med school for a while and you want to demonstrate that you have some recent competency then the step three could indicate that, okay? A program could say, okay, he or she's been out of med school for six years, which isn't good, by the way, if you're trying to apply. But if you have a step three within the past year, let's say, that's very important to prove that you still have competency. That can be the utility of step three. But you're not going to apply into, let's say, radiology somewhere, or dermatology, and say, oh, because I have a step three, that's going to help me. Not really, okay? 99% of people are just not going to have that. Now regarding, uh, are you fucked if you don't get a high 2CK score? The answer is it depends on what you want to apply into. Uh, for competitive specialties, dermatology, radiology, plastics, you need a high 2CK score. Okay, there's no entitlement. Uh, very difficult to match without acing it and without acing the 2CK. Are there ways around it in some cases? Sure. I mean, could you get a letter, a raving letter from the best friend of a program director or you rotated at a certain institution and they loved you and your 2CK was like decent, uh, but not great? It's possible to match, all right? Uh, so it's not an outright you're fucked, but the more competitive the specialty you're applying into, you obviously need a high 2CK score. If you took the 2CK or are going to take it and you're not gonna get the best score, you just need to not have entitlement and be willing to apply broadly as far as location and specialties are concerned. And you should also apply broadly into preliminary slash transitional years. When we think of full length programs, e.g. internal medicine, a four year program, which that would be categorical, the full length program, you need to be willing to apply to copious one year transitional slash prelim years where you can then pivot into a PGY2 uh, categorical spot. So you're not fucked if you get a subpar 2CK score. Remember, 50% of people are going to score below average, okay? I mean, so you'll match. Uh, it's just a matter of you can't have entitlement as far as getting into a competitive specialty at the location that you want if you're, if you're not outright uh, acing the exam, okay? Your work and your volunteer activities mean jack fucking shit. Your research will matter if you're applying to a competitive specialty. And your essay, it needs to demonstrate humility that you're not about yourself and you need to put decent sentence structure together in English. Okay? You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.